And hi again, everyone, and welcome to Heartland Hoops. Todd Richards here, glad to have you along for the ride, and we have a lot of ground to cover. We begin at Dexter High School, where Bearcat senior Cole Nichols entered the night just 22 points shy of setting the school's all-time scoring record. We'll see if Nichols, number 14 on your screen, have a night, young man, and this is your night against Kennett. Nichols just pounds his way in, Draws the foul and scores. He can score all kinds of ways. Kennett putting up a fight. Kirk Cole with the bucket right there. But Nichols, too much. Hits the three. He's closing in on that record late in the first half. He would step up to the free throw line with a chance to break it here. And there it is. There's your record. 22 first half points to do it. Nichols breaks the record. 1,812 points was the record set by the great Brett Hale. Now it's Cole Nichols. He finished unofficially 41 points. And Dexter wins as well. What a game, 73 to 60. Congratulations, Cole Nichols. All right, from a record-breaking performance to a pair of state-ranked teams going at it. Cape Central at Sykeston. Jess Todd reports. Top 10 clash in Class 5 in Missouri. Cape Central, Sykeston, both fan bases ready to go. That's right, the jungle brought the heat, but so did the Bulldogs fans decked out in togas. It's not Toga Tuesday, it's Toga Friday, apparently in Sykeston. But Cape Central came out storming Cameron Williams' bucket, plus the foul off a good drive and feed from Quell Murray. How about good ball movement again? And Latroy McIntosh throws one down. That's got to make the bench happy. But here comes Sykeston, their top 10 in Class 5 for a reason. Tristan Wiggins money from three. Then Dentrez Williams drives and scores. The junior looking strong. Quell on the block, but Williams sticking with it for Sykeston. Goes back up through some contact, fading away. No problem. What a shot. Sykeston trying to hang around, but Cameron Williams says, I don't think so. Money from the free throw line, and Cape Central runs away with this one. The confetti fans were ready, but Cape Central used to big games like this. It felt good, most definitely. I, the environment was great. Um, you know, I just love the atmosphere like this. It's always good games. The coach told us it would be like that. Every game, everybody, we're going to get everybody best, so we, we know how it is, so we, we just be prepared for every game. Great job to Jess Todd. I also want to thank uh, Logan Ford for the earlier highlights in that Dexter game. Fantastic, fantastic crew. All right, time to talk some Pirates and Rams hoops, and we're talking Perryville playing at Scott City. We'll see you got the best of this one. And hey, Nolan Cook behind the camera here is Jake Sissel. They'll get the, the bounce right there. How about that? And you got to like that if, if you're coach. Hey, clap a little bit. Get excited, right? Meanwhile, watch him go in. Robert Usery that goes back with the putback. Perryville looking good right there. But Scott City, the cheerleaders say, let's go. And here they go. Brendan Besink with the big three from way outside. Then Kalen Connor will get in the act. And when he gets in the act, that's usually bad things for the opponent. Scott City wins at 54 to 45. Meanwhile, our first trip to Southern Illinois takes us out to Anna Jonesboro. Love the home of the Wildcats. Love it over there. Great people out there all the time. DeCoin, wonderful folks as well. And what a matchup. Rivals and all that good stuff. And here they go. And AJ came out firing. Looking to take advantage of home court. Dylan Harville brings it up. Goes in. Scores that one. The Wildcats moving it around as well. Harville again. He's going to finish at the rim, gets it to go right there. This was all Wildcats to start the, the game. Dawson Trammell, he says, give me the darn basketball because I'm going to do something good. He hits this one right there. That was the good stuff for the Wildcats. But how about those Indians coming back? Gage Green with the bucket right there. Got to love that name. Sounds like a basketball player. Then Eli Maynard, he's got one. DeCoin's got to win, 56 to 45 over Anna Jones, bro, good game. Meanwhile, one round down, two to come. Hey, when we do return, East Prairie and Kelly will start us off. We will see you on Heartland Hoops after this break. 